on. Product rule says that uh, all we need to do is we add the exponents together. Okay, so um, if that was A was 1 and B was 2, then it would be X to the third. A plus B, 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, um, if we have to simplify, then that's when we would do that, okay? Um, so over here, I got H to the 2 and H to the 6. Where is my answer going to be? H, 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 H. H to the 8, okay? And I'm going to write it the long way, but it's going to be H to the 2 plus 6, which is H to the 8. Okay? On the other one, you multiply the big numbers together. So negative 2 times 7, negative 14. And then we're going to go through and add all the exponents. So I got an A to the 2 and an A to the 3. It's going to give me... A to the 5, and I have a B to the what power? A 1. Okay, so you can put a 1 here and a 1 here. So a 1 and a 1 is going to be B to the 2. 1 plus 1. Okay, that is the multiplication rule. Now, uh, it seems really easy. Uh, on some of these, you're going to go through, multiply everything, and then you would simplify. Okay, so don't work too far ahead because... Um, it's built into what we were doing yesterday. Okay, so um, if you look at your sheet of multiplying exponents, the very first one, um, this is where it gets kind of tricky. So if the numbers are different, okay, you multiply the fronts. If the numbers are the same, then you keep them the same. So um, we got, is the big numbers the same, the coefficients? Yes. Yeah, so we know it's gonna be a four. Okay, and then we add the exponents together. So I got a negative 4 plus a negative 4 is what? Negative 8. Negative 8. Do we leave negative exponents? No. No, and so this is where you need to simplify. So um, my actual answer, where do negative exponents go? On the bottom or flip-flop them. So if it's already on the bottom, then it needs to go to the top. If it's on the top, it needs to go to the bottom. Okay, so it's going to be 4 to the 8. And what do we put on top? Huh? A 1. Okay, so if we look at 2, are the big number, the coefficients, the same? Yes. Yeah, so we leave them the same. And then what do we do with the exponents? Add them. 2 plus 3. It's going to be 5. Okay, do we have any negative exponents? No. No, so we don't need to do anything else. Okay, if we look at um, 5, are the big numbers the same? Yes. yes. Yeah, so we leave it the same. Okay, and then we're going to do what to the exponents? Right. We're going to add them. So 3 plus 2 five. is 5. Okay, is there any negative exponents? No. No, so we're done. Okay, look at seven. What is the coefficient? Ten. No. Two. Two. No. One. One. Okay, what big number goes in front of those ends? One. A one. Okay, so we would keep the coefficient the same, which is one, and we have an n, and we add the exponents, which is going to be what? Five. Do we have any negative exponents? No. No, so we're done. Nine. What are the two coefficients? One and two. A one and a two. Are they the same coefficient? No. 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 So what do you need to multiply do? Them. We got to multiply them together. Okay. So one times two. Two. Okay. And then we do what to the exponents? Yeah. We add them. So two plus two. Four. Do we have any negative exponents? No. 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 So we're done. Okay, 11. What are my coefficients? Four and one. Four and one, so four times one. Okay, and we do what to the exponents? So four plus two. Do we have any negatives? No, so we're done. Not too shabby.
Okay, look at 13. What are the coefficients? Four and one. So four times one. Okay, and then what do we do with the exponents? Add them. So two plus negative two zero. is zero. What is k to the zero power? Yeah, anything to the zero power. So, but just this part is a one. Okay? So, and then what does it mean when two numbers are right next to each other? It means multiply. So four times one four. is going to be four. <laughs> okay, 15. What are my coefficients? Three, three, one. Three, three, one. So what is three times three times one? So we got 9x, and we do what to the exponents? Add. Add them. So I got 2 plus 3 <coughs> plus 4 Five. is 9. nine to do we have any negative exponents? No. no. So we can stop. Okay, 17. What are my coefficients? Four three. A 4 and a 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. Yeah. 12, and what are my um, powers? Uh, negative 4 and 1. Negative 4 and 1. So negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Okay. So what do we do with negative exponents? we got to move them around. Okay. And so this is really going to be, where does the 12 go? The top, the big number always is going to stay where it's at. So it's got to stay on the top. What about the end to the negative 3? Where are you going to end to the 1, baby? I don't know. You do got to change it, but it's just going to be end to the 3 on the bottom. I had to make it a little harder because I heard you were going around the school telling me my math was so easy today. What? Yesterday. I only told one person that. That's what a birdie told me. I'm just kidding. Okay, uh, 19. What are my coefficients? Three and four. Three and four. So three <laughs> times four. Well, okay. How many M's do I have? Two. Two. No. Well, kind of. Okay, what are my powers on my M's? I got a 1 and a 2 because there's really an m to the 1 right here. So what is 1 plus negative 2? Negative 1. How many n's do I have? Just n to the 1 power. Okay, take a second look at that. That way you know what's going on. Is there negative exponents? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, please get that done. Okay, yeah. So we got... Where does the 12 go? On the top. What about m to the negative 1? Rodney, you with us? Yes. You're looking? It's just m to the 1. Where? Bottom. On the bottom. m to the 1 goes on the bottom. What about the n to the 1? Uh, bottom. Come again? Top because it's positive. Top because it's positive. Good job, Rodney. People said Rodney was slow now. I'm impressed. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. I'm slow. I just, I don't know. Yeah. Don't shoot the messenger. Yeah. I thought maybe you had a concussion or something. <laughs>